What's new along the rivers of America? By the way, Ian, this is going to be our last update. For the rivers. For those, yeah. So I would imagine that this is all going to be pretty much done. Waterfalls are working. Yeah, and the. Oh, my goodness. The fences that were blocking off the view of the village. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, Let's take a look at that cool. waterfall. Exactly. We're going to be up close to it next week. Oh, my goodness. There's going to be a train going across there. They got more trees in there. Uh, I don't see the grudge girl yet, but she's over yeah, on the right, or the grudge right kid. Oh my yes, we know it's a boy. But I don't see any scaffolding sticking out. No, of nothing. I don't. Any... Well, there's some netting up there. Yeah, but that's like just on. That's for the bird. Are they going to take that netting down? Hopefully. Like, they better take that netting if down. If not, that's behind us, so you won't see it as much. Yeah. Yeah, and I would say that this, uh, the new Native American village, looks better than it did before. Now that the you know, the, the fences are down. Yeah. It looks more, because it looked like they didn't have any space at all. Like they were just cramped back there. I mean, it's still a little cramped, but. You can see there's a little more space there. There's a little more space there. I don't know what scene is being, they're not doing, obviously, it doesn't look like they're doing the carving the flute out of the piece of wood I thing. I mean, they might, but it's hard to see tell from this angle. Can't tell, yeah, there's actually more scene happening that, yeah. that's out of frame. Uh, we can go around the corner, look yeah, through the trees right. over there. Uh, the grudge girl yeah. boy is there. Grudge kid. Where, where am I? Oh, there I am. Sorry, guys. Grudge kid. Uh, dog still came the other way. I don't know why. But it reminds me of that scene from Goodfellas. The painting scene. If you guys have seen Goodfellas, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know. I, I can't believe I just made a Goodfellas reference out of a Native American village, but I did. You know, infinite monkeys and infinite typewriters and all that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go look through the bushes. All right, we moved up to where the pirate treasure is, and you can see this is the stuff that's happening behind the the teepees. There's a there's a group over there. I guess they're building a fire. That can you tell? Is that is it finished? That sure looks finished. Okay, so they're they're making a little campfire. They're probably you know telling ghost stories. That's what that's what everybody does around a campfire, right? I don't see. Any scenes that look like a piccolo I mean, some flute thing? Away, but there's a, some yeah. Here seem to be discussing something. And they're kind of hanging out in that canoe, also. It's all right. Ian, uh, <laughs> how many how many uh, teepees do you see? Count the teepees, Ian. I want to know the answer before we get into Mark Twain. So when he asks that question, I, I have the answer. I think I see at least six. I see it. I see four or five, maybe. You see six? At least six. At least six. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's done. Let's go see what's going on the other side. I can hear the waterfall. Ian, look at the lovely fence. There's there's a fence and a path. Yeah. What kind of path is that? I can't really make what it mean, out. What do you mean by what kind of path? Like material? Is it concrete well, or yeah, is it's it? It's always going to be concrete, but it'll be meant well, textured to it. Like right. What's the? Yeah, that's what I mean. Is it like brick? I can't tell if it's. It might be textured to look more like dirt since you're in the country. At this All point. right. And the tunnel. You start to see the tunnel sort of. Yeah. No, they, I can see where they carried through their construction wall. Yeah, yeah. In the back, so that you know people won't be able to go through, obviously. Yeah. There's that's the tunnel so right there in the center of your frame. frame. And I don't know if you can hear it, the waterfall, but we can also see it. There it is. That's lovely. I would have liked more water. Do you think that's out of line? Uh, I mean, I don't know how much more, I mean, without being like really A million like, gallons. Like Yosemite Falls yes. level. I'll take, yes. I'll take little Four. Yosemite Falls. Is that enough? Uh, there should be several more around the way. Too. More, yeah, more waterfalls? Yeah. What, how many did they say there was going to be? Five. That's what I thought, yeah, five. Hopefully they're not counting all the little ones in between. Like, they're like, oh, well, that's three there. No, that's one. That's and three. I see one, two, I feel like one of those videos. Two, five deer. How many do you see, Blue? <laughs> <laughs> that's right, Blue. There are five deer. There could be more deer hiding. Let's see if we can find any. Look at that. No walls. You can see straight in. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And I heard that the river is fully operational again. Uh, the Pustix River, was that you that told me that? Yes, yes. The Empire. They, they've, maybe the resistance is working. 
Or no, it's the Rebellion, actually, isn't it? Well, it's the, well yeah, Empire, Empire Rebellion, Rebellion Resistance, First Order. First Order Resistance. Anyways, please, yeah. Poo Sticks Creek is running. Poo Sticks it's, Creek it's, it's a flowing. is running again. And almost this trail is running. They've still got that wall up there. Yeah. In a week from now, that's Scrim. And this wall should and be And that wall all gone. will be gone. We're going to have lunch there next week. Yeah. This is our last view. We were, he and I were just saying, we don't have to do it from the top of the hill. We can walk all the way down to the fence now and get a clearer view. We kind of gave you a hint of this last week. It was dark, though, of how this looks now without the fences up. It looks great. I think it looks great, yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> Pretty fantastic. Uh, so the Native oh, American chief. Going. Oh, yeah, you can see some more waterfalls. And there's a couple other guys down below the chief. Oh, there are. Right on in there. So there's the chief. And then you can see those two guys down there, or gals, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can tell. It's hard to see through. Oh, no, those are dudes. Right? Yeah. They're going to see some more water. Well, they're, they're looking at our direction instead of, yeah. uh, they're looking at the canoes and stuff. And the, and the twain and all that. Mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the chief was facing the other way before, right? He faced the train. It seems like, I think he can turn He can turn a little bit. So remember, like, when you're on the Mark Twain, he's facing you. And yeah, he didn't move at all. Faces. Are you sure he didn't he doesn't, he didn't wave or anything. Are you sure? Yeah. I looked at the maybe, video okay, maybe that's just recently to find out. False memory illusion. Yeah. Well, it's like a Mandela effect. Like, you assume he's waving at you, but he's really not doing anything. Um, he could be saying how. You know, I don't know. Or whatever, you know, like just some kind of hello. But uh, it does. I can't tell. The train does pass on his left, though, right? Yes. Well, t I mean, he's facing us on his right, technically. Oh, I lost it again. I, it's hard to hold this thing still. Okay, what I mean to say is, wait, the train is going to pass on his right. He, he will be on the train's right. On the train's right? Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, I just saw the train go by. Oh, my God, no, that was majestic. It, I did. It was wonderful. It blew its horn and a little train whistle and what you can see is more waterfalls lower down there. yeah there's uh yeah down there's some more waterfalls i wonder if we could see more waterfalls if we go down <laughs> the see that like <laughs> oh look it and then boom <laughs> look there's the train <laughs> we're like over here we're in the bushes we're trying to get a good look at the path and it's just like oh, and like there's a path right there so this is that's the up the uh, upstairs uh hungry bear the rear seating back there for the hungry bear and you can see he's building the the stairs right there. He's finishing the, the final touches of the paint. Uh, regular concrete, not textured at all. Really, it just it's just weathered. It's Frontierland style uh, concrete. Lovely, a uh, lovely fence. You get the high fence on this side. You get the low fence on that side. Very lovely. Uh, lots of trees and bushes and rocks and stuff. You're gonna turn left at the stairs, and that takes you underneath the the, the bridge right there. Um, it's also very fresh. So fresh and so clean. Uh, moving back here, it's actually a better view of the Native American chief and his two buddies down there. Let's take a look. I can't, again, I can't see very well though because of the glare. There they are. But that's that. And then you get the waterfalls, or one of them. There's some more all the a Very small the feature there, water feature. So there looks like there's some like behind the chief. I can, I can see a little bit of yeah. water like, through the bushes. All right. the camera would be able to pick it up. And then just to the right of this, that's the that's well you can't you still can't see it, but the fantastic storage area is uh, just right. out of frame or just out of you know behind those bushes there. You can't really see it. Uh, the murder beavers on the other side of that also. Um, Wow, I just, I, I can't, I don't, I, I can't imagine where they're going to go. How are they? They're going to go under the trestle. But it looks like rock and waterfall there. I don't see an opening. Because the spot they go is just on, like, the blind spot that they can't see from here or the other side. I yeah. guess, yeah, you're right. Like, when we go around on a boat, you'll be able to see, like, oh, that's where it is. Because it's only because we know where to look. Yeah. It's pretty beautiful, though. Yes. It's going to look even better when that crane is not there. <laughs> The crane ride they're installing? Yeah. <laughs> um, and the trees grow in a little bit. In two years, those trees will have grown, some. And the bushes and, and the, and the yeah. landscaping below will fill out more. Yeah. But it looks pretty great, I have to say. It looks really, really good. I, it looks better, for sure, than what it used to look like, right? Uh, except for the fully grown trees. Oh, yeah, there's something with Disney does well. It's landscaping and rock running. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> they knocked that out of the park right there, man. They really did. 
Well, you know, I've had enough with all this majestic beauty and scenery. Let's let's do the opposite. DCA. Let's go to DCA. What's happening, Fresh Big? We are back finally. Sorry, we missed a week, you guys, because of that whole D23 thing. But, we were. But this time we saw the model. We saw, well, we did see the model. That's and I right. met an Imagineers who watched the show. Hi, guys. Ian said just he's saying hi to the Imagineers at Disneyland who watch our show. Yeah, I didn't catch any of your names, unfortunately. Sorry about that. But, Take that. Uh, people who don't like our show. <laughs> Behold, Star Wars Land. Uh, I'm sorry, Galaxy's Edge. I didn't get to ask you yet, Ian. People are asking us, are we still going to call it the Star Wars Land update? That's a fair question. What do you think? I mean, I'll probably, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's still Star Wars Land to me. It's not Galaxy's Edge yet for me. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it. What do you see out here on Star Wars Land slash Galaxy's Edge, Ian? I see in my mind's eye a giant mountain. I sure do too. What he's talking about, Fresh Bake, is all those mountain peaks that are scattered atop the Battle Escape building. Actually, all I see are just mountains, like you said, right? Yeah. All those things right there, the warts, those are mountain peaks. Peaks of mountain. And something we can't see from this angle, but a couple other photos have kind of pointed out this. On the, literally the far corner of this building, yeah. there's like a round little overhang bit. Yeah. And that's actually where that little landing pad with some forced perspective buildings on top of it. Oh, right, yeah. You might remember that from yeah, the sure. model. So, that's there. Okay. Oh, they're being they're building it, you mean? Me, I think like the actual kind of rounded corner okay. sticks out. Okay. Yeah, we can't see that at all. The far yeah. I but, wonder. But people have seen that corner in aerial shots of the one in Florida, and we know ours is several months ahead, so I'm positive. So there must be. Okay, you know what? I haven't seen any shots from Florida. Yeah. Uh, there's a Twitter account called Bio Reconstruct that does really good aerial shots of yeah. all the construction. Is there anybody doing a regular report for Florida? Uh, I mean, so I guess why are we constructing a similar, not so much reports, but just, you know, semi-regular, like, aerial, Photos aer stuff. aerial shots. But no video or anything like that. There's really no, no there's, places to shoot. There's only a couple spots at Moody Studios. Like, yeah. actually, if you walk out of the Tatooine Trader store, because you're actually a little higher above the regular walkway, you yeah. can see all the events. Okay. You can actually see better there than at the upstairs of Pizza Lizzo. That wasn't a very good view anyway, no, though. No, but you can actually see yeah. kind of okay from that exit to Tatooine Traders. Gotcha. Uh, well, I was walking in this morning. This is what I was telling you about that I noticed. What, what they're, what's going on here with the... Uh, well, you can see with your... Those cross sections are being put in on the exterior yes. wall of the uh, of Alcatraz, of Battle Escape. Yes. Um, so, the, so that's starting to get closed in a little bit. <clears throat> now, I wonder what... At what point, I guess we're never going to know if they're... Are they making any progress on the tiers? Actually... Look here, I can see a whole bunch of new steel in there too. Yeah. Right? Am I? Uh, well, I'm seeing that new, right, right? There's new steel there. It's just it's hard to make. Lots it of any support of beams. From this perspective. It looks all support. That's a lot of support. Those cross beams, you know. Well, and just going in all kinds of different angles and directions. It almost looks like. Look at this. What's going on down there? Do you see those like? In the picture there. Uh yeah. What's what is what are. That, it looks like the kind of setup you'd see at like a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a, like a power station for electrical, uh... Oh, a transformer station. A transformer station, yeah. It looks, you know, there's just holes and wires and stuff everywhere. Yeah. That's kind of what this is reminding me of a little bit down there. All right, moving on. The roof is done, I guess, more or less, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, so there's just a couple more forms of pouring concrete from what we can see. Oh, the, you mean? For the uh, annex, which is for Q. They have... Oh, no, they haven't brought it out here. They've closed it off. Pretty much. They've closed it off there. It's starting to reach this rear wall they yeah. built a thousand years ago. Yeah. That, why did they build that wall there, I wonder? So far in advance of everything else. Not sure, but it's there now. Yeah. Do you know why they put that green fence back there along the berm? Uh, probably just to close up any remaining little gaps. In, 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 like sight lines, you mean? Yeah. Getting ready so for uh, train for the train, because the train's going to go pretty close to that. Uh, so they just need to clo close up any little, like, little gaps. So we can't can see. To try turning around. I was hoping that we would maybe, I mean, maybe not get I mean, a clear view. I mean, block work in the way at that spot around there anyway. Yeah. So, but it also just might just be a cool thing. Please don't go over here. Beyond here is going to be a show, an active show of the park. Yeah. Please don't walk past here. Yeah. Be visible by guests kind of thing. So there's that. 
Let's go back up top here. There, I, I can't tell what this is. Maybe if, if we move down, we can see a little better what that. There's a just the color has changed on the the top of the Battlescape building. Uh, it's now this brownish color that I can't figure out what it is that's making that color. Yeah, so there's some other sort of some sort. They've of put on another layer, another something. Yeah. When we slide down, hopefully we can. It's like something maybe a little more permanent than like a kind of just a graded metal that's going to lay on top elsewhere. Could be. We're uh, we have we're not sure. They're they're working on the. Oh, uh, on every floor they're re tiling because before it was the yeah. tile with the slippery stuff that gets really slippery when wet. Yeah. And price didn't happen sooner, but right. like, hey, let's replace this with somebody uh, probably like, fell something and, with a little more traction. Yeah. So that's what all this is. I mean, so we're, we're our movements floor. are restricted here a little bit. So we have to kind of go down, come back around, up, and then. Go. Somebody had said to me, David, did you hear they're, they're finally going to scrim the building? And, I'm, and they technically did. They did, yes. But not had nothing to do with any no. of this. They, they scrimmed everything but our view of Star yeah. Wars land. <laughs> yeah, because it had nothing to do with <laughs> Right, <this>. right. <laughs> so this is, all, this is all scrimmed, but we can still see just fine uh, out here. So I'm curious if we slide down what's, what, what we might find, because you get a better view from that angle down there. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at the Falcon ride from here. See if we can't see anything. I don't, again, I just most all most all those carousel six yeah. sections are kind of covered in steel. Yeah, you can't. It's just a just a mess of steel now. But when we slide down, you'll be able to see more of the steel that's forming the mountain peaks. Okay. And I just saw a picture of today. Well, I mean, for you guys, it's now oh, well, it's Monday. We have a yeah. picture on Twitter. It looks like some cut. They're almost ready to put the highest steel in the land up because it has room for signing some of the steel. Oh, really? To put, so it looks like they're about to. Oh, that's that. right. They do that. Whatever's the highest point, yeah, right? Yeah. So they're they're getting ready that's to top, a thing. Out, top out the highest peak in the land. All right. Cool. So. Well, let's uh, let's let's slide down to the left and see if we can't see anything better from down the other way. All right, we made it over to the left side of the structure, and well, we can see that there definitely is a new layer up there. I have no idea what that stuff is, but it's, this was like a more permanent material, as yeah. opposed to the kind of temporary. It's not just stuff. that corrugated stuff that yeah. looks like they had up there before. I <laughs> here we are contemplating the materials used to make a roof. Uh, I love Star Wars land updates. So there's that. Slide to the left a little bit. You can see. But, you know those those work structure things are about construction like, office things. construction offices yeah people are still tell some people are still telling me it's HVAC and things like that but it looks like a temporary trailer so that it does look good. like a trailer to me it looks like they've installed the Matterhorn in the distance amazing and that's kind of thematically uh, inconsistent inconsistent I wonder if Disneyland execs know that a view from the parking structure isn't that thematically correct. To come on. Even I'm not upset about a parking structure view. I think that they should watch this video and know what's going on. Just kidding, you guys. I love you. <laughs> anyway, they don't uh, cancel our passes. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, so they're they're closing up the uh, the exterior wall there from that from that part of the Battle Escape building. Yeah. And then if we uh, slide to the left. That is the peak that Ian was referencing earlier. That That's almost topped out. They've almost topped out. He said that you've seen cast members or construction workers and whoever. Photos of it. Photos of, of them signing uh, steel work, steel steel work that's going to go up there. Yes. But I can't really tell, you know, progress wise what we can see. Uh, you can't see anything still from the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. The structure itself has grown, but perspective wise, it's even yeah. we have even worse perspective from here than we did with yeah. the escape Yeah. It's just so un. Because it's far away, and no matter where we're looking at, we're largely looking at it frontward along the yeah. side. You don't get a sense of depth. You know what's interesting though? What will happen eventually, Ian, is that we're gonna we are gonna eventually be able to see Star Wars land through the gap. A little bit. Some of it. You'll see, like, me, like, the top of some buildings from yeah. the marketplace area. Yeah. That'll be something. So we're just going to stand here and wait. Every week we're going to say, okay, still can't see anything through that gap. But one of these days we're going to say, one of these days. What? We can see one stuff through the days. gap. We can see stuff through the gap. <laughs> That'll be a great day. That'll be a great day. But that is not this day. Nope. This day, it's the backside of Battle Escape. The future greatest attraction in the history of mankind. I most certainly hope so. I am very, very nervous. Somebody asked me about because um, they're asking my thoughts on simulators in the live in the live stream last yeah, week. Yeah, I saw that. And uh, how I didn't like Star Tours, and all the reasons why I don't like Star Tours. And the guy said, "You just described the Millennium Falcon attraction." 
and um, I'm afraid I might have. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the actual level of control and interactivity is what will yeah. keep it from that. Well, there, yeah, there's going to be elements of, of unpredictability, and it's not just you and a TV screen, clearly, yeah. right? You're not just sitting in a chair watching a TV screen and the on a gimbal. Everyone has an actual role, and yeah. while you may not be able to destroy and the ship and kill everyone, you can fill the mission and have consequences to what yeah. you do. Right? And you know, it there wouldn't are even consequences to messing up. It's not just like, oh, you know, whatever. Like there are, there's something does it does matter. And it wouldn't even be so bad if it wasn't a mishmash of cutscenes. You know, like I don't like the fact that you know you get. I, I would rather see one continuous experience, like one one scene. One, at least one adventure that even if it jumped planets, flows together as a complete story. Right. Because the, the idea that we went from Endor to space to you know tattooing all in like four minutes is. I mean, most of them, if you really do the mental gymnastics, you can kind of argue. I guess these could have technically be happening at the same timeline, kind of. Well, it's not even timeline. I just I don't want to be going from place to place like that. That's yeah. part of what. That's the same reason why I don't like Soren. I would rather Soren be take just take me to take me to one location, or at least one, and fly me around that location. Series of locations. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I didn't want. I don't want to. The guy even made a joke at D twenty three, didn't he? Or he was using that as, that's right, he was using it as, as ammo, as proof that fantasy becomes reality or something like that at what Epcot. Part? When, they were, oh, when they, they were trying were... to explain why Guardians works in Epcot, and he said, look, you could already travel around the world at Soren in like four minutes. That's fantasy coming to life. And I was, you yeah, know. That's not about fantasy. <laughs> well, he's, but he's saying, it, he's saying you think it isn't. But it already is. Look what we're doing in Soren. Look, at, we got a, we got a turtle. You're talking to a turtle right now. I got some strong fans of Epcot that I've ranted enough about. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. And there you go, Okay. Um, so that's. Again, boy, I, I wish I wish I wish I was a construction night. That's all I'm saying. I want to know what's going on inside those buildings right now. I wish now. I was doing what's going on in those meetings where they're watching our videos. Okay. To be a fly in the wall there. My email address is david at freshbakedisney.com. Imagineer. You can use make a dummy account. I have a resume on LinkedIn. If you... There you go. Ian also, he's an engineer, actually. Yeah. He's, he's, you know, he... I've got a couple of different... I, I always have like a couple active applications yeah, on the yeah. side just in case. There you go. C call Ian, man. He, you know, just saying. Just saying. You know what, before we go, I want to see if we can see anything down the Hungry Bear Way. The answer to that question is no, first break. Because not only is there a form for a concrete wall, whatever is there is kind of, surely must be done at this point, a week away. Anything left would be minor landscaping at this point. Yeah, you can't see anything. There's a pile of dirt Maybe back there. Maybe a tarp on one side of the yeah. of the bridge there, so when you're going across from the train, you don't look into the That form, and look, well, actually, it looks like they've, that fence is going all the way across, too. Everything is blocked. The yeah. tree, that form. We can't see anything. But, but next week we're gonna. See we're gonna a lot. see. <laughs> we're gonna see lots next week. All right, guys. That's our Star Wars Land update this week. It's uh, kind of status quo. I was hoping to see more, but it really the, the most the most improved thing is that wall right there, that's making progress. And then when, well, when driving, the high the, peak. Yeah, when driving, you can see there's a little more depth to the yeah. peak and stuff. Yeah. Well, we can't do a report from driving in. Uh, hey, she's Los Angeles <laughs> managed to get a slow mo shot driving in, driving out. I don't know how, but she does. You have to do it coming in. Going out is, is ter terribly difficult. Somehow, well, she gets one there too. Somehow. Well, you can get one, but you can't see very much because you're too close. Um, Unless you get one until you're passing like the gate that. Opened. I even tried coming up this ramp right here. The. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's not. Really you, you can't see much from there. Not, by the time you're high enough, you're too far over. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right. Well, next time, fresh bacon. By the way, before I go, what's that thing? What's what thing? That tall thing. The thing on the left. Right uh, in the middle. Looks like a looks like a radio tower. I think we saw that a while ago when we weren't able to. Is that connected to the Millennium Falcon building? That's thing. It, our perspective's so messed up, we can't tell. I can't tell. It looks like it's far it away look, though. It looks like it might be further behind it. Okay, well that's that's got to be the. Um, Leave you with that mystery that we won't can't solve either. That's Star Wars Land Radio. That's, oh, the, that's yeah. the radio tower for Star Wars Land Radio. That, that's the radio tower yeah. that uh, Rex's you know cantina DJ is on. Oh, yeah. Hondo does a podcast from there every Saturday night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fresh break of stuff. Bye guys.